Hi everyone, Alex here. Today I'm going to finish showing you how to create a cylindrical decontamination tank in Revit. This is going to be part three and in this part we're going to focus on creating the inlet connector and we're going to add the vent and its connectors. And then finally we're going to test the family. Now I'll remind you that if you just want to download the family you can scan that QR code you see right there. It takes you to the download link. Let's get to it. Now think about it, it makes sense. If you like this kind of content, you can subscribe to the channel. If you click that bell, you get notifications and then you don't miss any of our new videos. And if you're serious about your professional training, go ahead and visit us at bimitup.com and there you can contact me directly for some professional training. Now we we'll probably want to define an inlet. You see it here, inlet. So to do that, we would have to create an additional reference plane and let's say that's like around here so you click on this plane create similar and let's just have it like around here and we can call this inlet I think I can call it 1 16th of the length so let's just come here from here to here and let's take this and make it a parameter and we're gonna call it inlet offset right and we're gonna group it also under plumbing click OK and then let's give that inlet offset 1 16th of the length Okay, click OK, and we see it right here. And let's create now an extrusion here for the inlet, right? And for that, we would come here to create extrusion. What do we want? We want a circle. Where do we want it? Wherever you want. Then same procedure. It's pretty repetitive, but it's good practice for you guys so that you get used to your family creation. So you want to lock it in both planes and now obviously we want to dimension it right here and then you can click on that dimension we're going to make it a parameter and then that parameter is going to be called inlet diameter also group under plumbing and I'm going to click OK so that diameter by default is right now two and a half inches I'm gonna make it three inches and I'm gonna leave it three inches throughout. And then if we have to change it, we'll change it. But that extrusion cannot be two feet, this one's really short. So let's make it one inch and let's see what happens. Let's go to our 3D view. See that's looking decent, but if I go, let's go to the front view, you see that it can separate a little bit from the tangent, but I think it's fine. You know, it's it's good for what we want. Uh, if you want to get a little fancier, you could split the extrusion so you have like half the length going up and half the length going down, and then you can you have this option here called join, and then it makes it as it is, as if it was the same solid. You could do that with this one, for example. So if I go, let's go to the front view a second. You see this guy here? And it seems like it's floating. Like, let me give it a little shade to this so you see it clearly. See, like it's floating in the middle of nowhere. So what you could do is take this extrusion. You could bring it in so that it doesn't start at the top. So you see where it says extrusion end two feet? That's two feet in a positive direction. So you could do extrusion start. You could have it at, let's say, minus one foot. And then you would get in there. And you could even join these two solids if you wanted to. But I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna leave it like this. And then this one's a manhole that is a little bit away from the whole thing. But then our pipe will be coming in here and going that way. 
Now that I think about it, I think I'm, I'm gonna give it four inch to this diameter. So I'm gonna get here the inlet diameter, four inches. And then I'm gonna have that all over the place. So four inches, four inches, four inches, four inches, four inches. Four inches and you can have this diameter flex with the actual pipe diameter of the connector which that's the last piece of this so we would have to come here to create pipe connector I'm gonna place it right here on this face I'm gonna click on the connector and then the diameter it, you don't want to have it I mean I could easily just say okay the diameter is four inches and then that would be okay right but then if you change the pipe diameter of the family, which let's say it's now six inches, then this connector would stay four inches. You don't want that. So what you want to do is you want to associate this diameter with a parameter. And that parameter was the inlet diameter. I think we should actually change the other parameter called diameter. We should change this to tank diameter. Let's come here to diameter and let's edit that and see if we can make it tank diameter. That's a little bit more clear. And then this length, let's edit it and let's make it tank length. Now it's looking a lot better, right? And then this would be the tank radius. That's pretty decent. So let's just save it and close. Oh, and I almost forgot. We have two vents here, normal and emergency vent. See them here, emergency vent, normal vent. So let's go ahead and create those. So we have to go back to the reference level. And it would be good to have a mid plane here somewhere. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create cylinder right here. And then I'm going to dimension from here to here. And then I'm going to make this a parameter. This one's going to be half length. That's just the name of it. We're going to group it under plumbing. And then that parameter, we're going to make it a formula. And it's going to be equal to the tank length divided by two click ok and let's actually rename this plane to center front back and then let's just create similar one plane right here and then we'll have another plane right here so we're going to measure from here to here that's going to be a certain distance and it doesn't say how separate they are. So I'm just gonna measure from here to here. And then I'm going to define another parameter called vent offset. So we come here, new parameter, vent offset, it's gonna be a type parameter. We're gonna group it under plumbing. And then I'm gonna make that vent offset. I'm gonna make it the same distance as the inlet offset because it looks good. Okay. And now obviously this didn't change because I haven't assigned it yet. So I need to click on this distance and make it equal to the parameter, which was vent offset. Here it is. And then this distance make it equal to the vent offset. Now we have to create two last extrusions. So create extrusion, circle, somewhere in here, make visible, align to this one, this one, lock, to this one, this one, lock, so I'm just going to dimension it here and I'm going to make it two inches. 
and then the extrusion end can be one inch Let's finish it and then we do the same thing one more time create extrusion circle wherever you want it then you click on it make the center mark visible align to this plane and lock so this was the offset to one side and then this is the offset to the other side so the plane that we want to align to is actually this one here and then we lock it so that they're separated by the center plane so we can keep one inch as the length of the extrusion and just click okay oh and let's make sure that we made that two inches so let's see let's uh, dimension that and that's good that's two inches that's what we want that's perfect let's take a look in 3d that's good so that's our inlet right here these are two vents we definitely need to create the connectors oh one important thing is let's click on this connector let's make sure this is the flow the flow of direction is going to be in because it's coming into the family and the system classification we want here it's going to be sanitary uh, and then we need to create these other two connectors so create pipe connector this one here and this one here and then this one is going to be two inches and this one's going to be a vent out so what you want to do is admit drainage so as fluid is coming in you would be building pressure if you don't release somehow so this has to be going out the flow direction is out and the system classification is vent the same with this one is two inches system classification is vent and the flow direction is out and now we're done with our family so let's close it and now let's test it so let's create a new project let's open up a new project based on the BIM it up template let's drop our tank it's right here now we could come with a four inch pipe make sure that the pipe type is waste let's just bring it up like to three feet slope it up this way let's open up a 3d view and then that's looking pretty good with the exception that if i go to a front view for example i can see that this my ground level my tank is actually sticking out of the ground we don't want that so let's go ahead and move that we can move it from this point to this point then now we have our manhole flush with the ground which is what we want so let's see we're good here this would be our sanitary line and then this would be our motorized our motorized valve would, would be somewhere inside of this manhole okay and then you could take a couple of vent lines out and then you would take that line to wherever it has to be taken so same thing with this one and that will be our decontamination tank